This is Witchspace News for Friday the 9th of July 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In a packed bumper show this week the Anti-Xeno Initiative are running a new week long event. The Apollo 15 Expedition preps for departure Frontier share some community calendar work in progress shots and we'll share some thoughts on the future of the burr pit plus much more. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, click the little bell icon and remember to select all notifications and to further help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. The galaxy's premier alien squashing mega community the Anti Xeno Initiative are holding a new week long AXI Academy event starting on Sunday the 10th of July. During the event the AXI will provide personal mentors to any and all would be trainees to help them reach their next goal be it a solo kill or a first basilisk kill etc. Teams of anti xeno trainees will score points for hitting their goals and the biggest points at the end of the event will win titles in the AXI Discord and even a shot at a 2 billion in game credit prize. If you fancy a shot at becoming the meanie greenie danger daisies next nemesis then check the video description for the link to the AXI Discords event channel. If you're playing Horizons on console or PC and you're in the market for an expedition then Commander Yannick will be leading the Apollo 15 Anniversary Expedition from July the 10th to August the 1st. Build as Horizons last hurrah and celebrating the 50th anniversary of the achievements of Apollo 15 the expedition will be leaving from the Hind Nebula and visiting the twin mountainous worlds of David and Goliath. The expedition is open to all levels of experience and abilities. To find out more and get signed up check out the links in the video description. Good luck on your expedition commanders, fair winds and calm seas from everyone at the pit. With Covid restrictions currently still in place last weekend saw the annual LaveCon Elite Dangerous Convention become a virtual online event again. The SRV fanatics on the Elite Racers and Buckyball Racing Club communities had planned to meet up at the event and weren't going to let something like a worldwide pandemic get in the way of their fun. Undeterred, four of the wheeled maniacs met up in Northampton at Sedgebrook Hall, the hotel that was to have served as the conventions venue and filmed themselves go-kart racing complete with Formula 1 style onboard telemetry. Racing for the honour of first place and a 3D printed Elite Commander bobblehead. To see the full race in all its first person glory then check out the link in the video description to Alec Turner's channel on YouTube. If you're looking for the next thing to go and visit in Odyssey or Horizons then Commander Heartkicker of the Elite Fan Program has produced a huge collage image of options for you. Taking around a thousand hours spread across 90 days to complete the Elite Universe Guide contains around 800 locations spanning both Horizons and Odyssey. It's an incredible body of work and well worth a look. I've linked below to the source image. It's so huge that you'll likely not be able to view it properly in a web browser so be sure to download the image first and then zoom in to the details. It's honestly amazing. In game there was a server side patch this week that fixed a significant number of predominantly mission based issues in Odyssey featuring but not limited to restoration missions not being completable, data theft missions displaying correctly on your HUD and the required data being available to steal. Likewise salvage missions displaying on your HUD and the required salvage being available, a rebalance of faction influence effects and mercenary rank progression has been sped up. There was also a fix delivered to Horizons this week that specifically dealt with the spawning of Thargoid beasties in non-human signal sources so if you've been experiencing problems there then that should all be working as advertised for you. 
Whilst no patches are currently publicly scheduled from Frontier like they were in the 6 weeks immediately after Odyssey launched, community manager Sally has made mention on the forums this very morning that the team are still working behind the scenes on the next steps post update 5 and they'll post an official update on that when they're able to. We think we're into a phase of patches, fixes and optimizations being delivered as and when they're ready now rather than the somewhat forced roadmap style of weekly patch delivery that the team was pushing out before following David Braben's forum posts. As I've said at least twice before on these broadcasts the expansion was, as we all know, released too early and Odyssey undoubtedly still has quite a road ahead of it. Most notably in the areas of lighting, terrain rendering and frames per second drops all of which were detailed in the development update from the company last week. However it is in a better place than it was during the rocky launch period so if you've not dipped your toes in since then and are perhaps missing your space fix then it might be worth you giving it another go just to see if things have improved for you personally with the caveats I've just mentioned obviously. We know from here on that we have scheduled monthly developer updates likely in the form of a forum post and community manager Zach made mention on the forums this week that a focused feedback thread on the future of the power play system might be a good idea. We know that previous focused feedback initiatives on combat payouts, UI changes and the camera suite for example have all proven very productive so this may well be the wave of the future. Elsewhere on the Super Cruise News livestream this week the community team shared some images of the currently work in progress community calendar being developed by the web team at the company. As we mentioned on the last episode the web based calendar system will allow community members to post their own events that will appear viewable to the whole community after a moderation sweep has been through and approved the post. We're quite liking the look of this system and it could be a really productive way to get the word out about the many weekly community driven events that happen in the game that often go unnoticed. And finally this week we've been asked by a number of people over the last couple of weeks if the Burr Pit is planning on becoming a variety channel creating content for games outside of Elite Dangerous or even moving away from Elite Dangerous completely. Rather than keep answering the same question in as many varied and interesting ways as we can we thought it best and would like to answer the question about the future of the Burr Pit more publicly here. So. Let me confirm for you now, the Burr Pit has no intention of switching games or featuring any other games whatsoever. We are exclusively an Elite Dangerous channel and we will continue to feature Elite Dangerous, its news, its community and its goings on in their many varied forms, rain or shine. So with all that being said, wherever this journey may take us we hope you'll continue on the road alongside us. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then, 07 Commanders, follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.